Hey, what's up guys, it's Jamie. I'm doing my first video of the year. I'm dressed like this because it's cold and I'm in my car, it's warming up about before I head out and I got a couple errands to run, uh, which I won't get into. So I can make a lot of excuses why I don't do some shares. Uh, and the, the main purpose of me doing this is just to kind of share with friends, uh, family members, just and some, some people I've met about things that I'm doing. Now, my main theme is, you know, I have, I have two sons, two daughters, is that I hope above and beyond my just sharing with people about trading ideas is that maybe they'll watch this at some point because nobody ever taught me about money and about the importance of not just taking money and throwing it into a savings account, which is really, it's not that it's a bad idea, it just doesn't really do much for you. I think it's good to save six months to a year of, you know, of expenses, like be it rent or mortgage and just living expenses uh, in case of an emergency. But uh, I think trying to save all your money under your pillow, so to speak, or putting in a savings account only benefits the bank. You know, that money is not really doing anything for you. But, but anyway, I don't want to get into all that right now. The goal is uh, I was talking to a young guy. Um, you know, his name is uh, Mateos. Now, Mateos is the same age as my oldest son, and um, he's really open to uh, investing. Uh, and doing the, you know, and making some smart moves, uh, and I and I respect that. I think that's great because I think, hey, if I could go back and talk to the twenty-year-old me, or if I could tell my twenty-year-old son, say, man, if you just do these things, if you just save a little bit every year, every month, every week, don't touch it and put it into these good companies, and twenty years from now, the forty-year-old you is going to thank the twenty-year-old you, you know, and um, and that's what I believe. So anyway. So I have different accounts and platforms and I can get into a lot. I'm trying to keep these this time under five, 10 minutes tops, but you know, like around five minutes. So I'm just gonna talk about a couple things that I'm doing just, just to give you some ideas. Usually it's either I heard about it and uh, through somebody I've talked to as uh, something to check out. And, uh, and sometimes that's worked out really well for me. So I have here my Weeble account which I like to just kind of use to pop around here and I'll mess around here. And I have, I do some, I, they call it speculating, but it's really like gambling. I'll take a portion of my money and I'll kind of spread it out. I don't, you know, I don't use a lot of money. I use less than, you know, five, 10 grand usually. And if I double it, I'll take it out and I'll just try to keep repeating that. There's a couple accounts I have that I'm trying to do long-term investments where I don't, don't want to ever want to share those. Um, and you, you, um, everybody might have their own account, E-Trade, Fidelity, Thinkorswim, which is TD Ameritrade, um, Robinhood. I mean, then there's cryptos, Coinbase, and so on and so forth. I just got into KuCoin recently uh, to trade some coins that you can't get here, you know, through, through, through Coinbase. But, um, but anyway, so this is called, uh, I want to talk about this one. This is just an option. I bought two option calls. I sold NEO, I was up on NEO, and um, I think I will get back in NEO, but I saw an opportunity, and right, you know, as I look at this right now, I mean, I'm up a little bit, right? I'm up uh, 65 bucks on those two calls. So one cost me, I wanna say two something, the other one cost me four something. So, that, you know, it says, it says here, value. Okay, yeah, so market value, because I was like, I didn't pay that for them. But um, I bought one, it was a weird call, 1712, and the other one was 1962, and they're a year out. So I was like, oh, I got time. They partnered with Amazon, this company. Uh, if I go in here, I don't know much about the company. Um, let's go to their chart. Quotes. Oh, you know what? This is because it's in the, it's in the, the option chart. So this looks better, all right, so it's called Stellantis NV. So you can check it out um, if you're interested, but from what I understand, they've partnered with Amazon. Um, I know that another company that had partnered with Amazon, they reneged on the contract, which hurt them. Rivian, I believe it was called. So this one, when I looked at it, I'm like, well, it seems to be on an uptrend. You know, this is a weekly chart, and when I go to a daily chart, there's not quite as much action, you know, volume, but I thought, hey, 
I'll throw 700 bucks at it and see if I can't uh, you know, hit a target. So when I bought it, again, I was in the money. One was 17, one was $19. So basically it's gotta go over 20 for me to make money. It's already over 20, that's why I'm making a little bit of money. The analysts here, I mean, there's different analyst range you can look at, say the low end is 20, the mid range is 24, 25, and the high is over 29. I looked at another website called Tip Ranks and the high was over 32, I think it was like 31, 32, and uh, the mid was around 25. So my target is around 25. Uh, whenever I deviate from my 20, uh, 20 to 40% profit, it usually hurts me, it usually comes back to bite me. Um, especially if I'm up 100%. I was on GRTX, I was up 400% on my option call, and this is not stuff, I'm, I'm not selling shares, I just, just a call, right? I was buying a call. I was up 400% and I didn't sell, I don't know why, but uh, I still have time, I'm doing the money now, but again, my recommendation is other than a conviction that you think it's gonna go to a certain number, GRTX, which is a Chinese company, I believe, pharmaceutical, that um, that dropped drastically, as you can see there. The massive drop, I had bought 500 shares, I sold 400 of them, made about 1,000 bucks, 1,500 bucks, and I uh, kept 100 shares, because it was only bought at $1.44. It actually went down to 119, so I was like, oh, and then it jumped up to almost six. But I figured it's gonna fill that gap. You know, this is kind of why I've been holding. So you, you see, I have one line at 519, 590, um, my little, thing here but the 591 you know I figure all right so we should get there or maybe up you know over here so I figured a six dollar range is where it's gonna go so I'm I'm sticking to that for now as far as the shares I have I sold pretty much you know almost all of them I don't know why it just keeps doing this and um, kept a hundred just to see if it does get up to that number I'm gonna follow it through because the worst case scenario it goes back to a dollar and I, I you know, I don't really lose much of anything. Um, I've already locked in the profits, which is a really good practice. But long-term wise, uh, I'm really looking at, I'm looking at NEO because I think in the long run, it's a good company. But as far as what they offer for the EV market, there's some stuff going on where they were talking about maybe getting delisted. Um, I had come back to around 27 bucks and change. I had sold at a profit. Um, I think analyst ratings here, I mean, are pretty much what Tip Rank said. I mean, it's pretty high. It's up in the, you know, high is 87, mid's 58. I think on Tip Ranks it said 63. And the low here is uh, 20. I think over there the low was 45 or you know, like the four. So I was thinking of getting in, nothing crazy, but uh, I, I'm just kind of watching to see what's happening just in general in the market as it's been mostly red for quite a while. Um, Ford, of course, you know, I had some, some calls. I have shares that I want to keep adding. I remember when it was just five, six bucks. And with the investment they made into the EV market, I think this is something that will continue to climb. But right now, I say it's going to, I thought, my opinion was it's going to pull back uh, before it breaks through up closer to 30. So I was hoping, looking for a, a pullback to around 1920 so that I could uh, get back in. Again, I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I have a, a buddy has a couple options. I think he has some shares too. Uh, my buddy Lou. And um, he, I say, hey, you should sell one of your two contracts. Man, lock the profit in. He's just like, nope, nope, I'm gonna hold it. So. Everyone has their own strategy, but that's that's something I think Ford is gonna do well in GM. Um, but I guess that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about now for, for today. I see that Shiba Inu is, looks like it's making a comeback. Wow, yeah, 15%. It dropped down to the 26, 25. I mean, it was down there pretty bad as far as cryptocurrencies. I wanna talk about that next time. This is approaching the 10 minutes. But, uh, oh yeah, so it was like around 25. I drew my line there. My goal is to continue to add to my crypto portfolio uh, the same way I do with the stocks. So I think Bitcoin and Ethereum is something I want to kind of add for years to come and maybe Solano and I'm looking at some other stuff. But I think that um, <clears throat> I do some of the same speculative plays like I do with the stocks. I don't really do options here, but um, I do think there's some good um, companies, or not companies, but good 
I mean, there are companies, but uh, Polygon, and you know, I'll get into all that stuff next time. Matic and Dot, V Chain, XRP. But we'll have that conversation next time. All right, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See ya.